Well, good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, I wanted to share this image with you because, you know, when we see things like that, uh, especially for uh, those of us who are involved in evangelism, and especially if you're involved in evangelism uh, with Muslims, you see this, and of course you see lots of posts that Islam is the fastest growing uh, religion in the world. Uh, you know, something that, what, is it, what does that mean? Does it mean basically because they're having more children than the rest, that the uh, birth rates are higher in Muslim countries than they are in the West? It, it really, you know, it really is a bit ambiguous on that. But we see this individual as a sign. It says Islam will dominate the world. And of course, uh, Islam is a very aggressive uh, religion. They certainly believe in, in jihad. Doesn't always necessarily mean you know uh, you know warfare in the sense of uh, a military action or, or or terrorism, but it is like I say a very aggressive religion, and they sort of rely on jihad. But you know Islam will never dominate the world; it will never happen. And uh, I can just I just wanted to share some verses with you, and then um, and I've shared these verses before. I think they are crucial in the proclamation of the gospel. And they are found in Philippians chapter 2, uh, beginning at verse 5. Have this mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, though he, that is Christ, was born in the form of God, did not consider equality with uh, God a thing to be grasped. But he made himself nothing, taking on the form of a servant, being found in human, in human, in, in the likeness of man, and he became, uh, and being found in human form, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. And therefore, God has highly exalted him, and bestowed upon him the name that is above every name, that is the name of Jesus. Every tongue, uh, at the name of Jesus, every tongue, uh, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess in heaven, on earth, and under earth that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And I think these ver this passage alone is the death knell to uh, every false uh, religious system that is out there. And Islam, of course, is, as I've said before, nothing more than a, a, a polemic against Christianity. Uh, its sole reason of existence is uh, to attack uh, the Christian faith. doesn't have any other... This, this, is the only, uh, this, this is the only reason that you have Islam. And, but they're doomed to fail. Uh, they will not. They will never succeed, and it is because we have the promises in the Bible, and especially what the Apostle Paul wrote to the churches in Philippi, and he says that the name of Je at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And what what is happening here? What is happening here is that at that at the end of the at the end of the age, at the end of the age, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, my Muslim friends, you may kick and scream and curse, and you may, uh, if you're watching this uh, on on uh, social media such as uh, YouTube or uh, Facebook, you may you know rolling on the floor laughing, laughing out loud. Uh, you may deny that, but you will bow the knee. Now you can do it in this life, or you will do it in the next. If you do it in, the, in this life, because the Bible says now is the day of salvation, if you, can, uh, if you repent of your sins uh, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you, uh, you will be saved. However, if you do it in the next life, 
you will be condemned to uh, hell for all eternity. And hell is such a horrible place. I, I can't imagine uh, the wrath of God, how that works out, the wrath of God being poured out on you continually. And there will be, no, uh, there will be absolutely no room for repentance. In fact, you will not want to repent. What you will do is you will be taking your fist and shaking it in the face of God and cursing God for all eternity. And along with you cursing God will be your prophet who today is waiting, awaiting the judgment of God and who at the end of the age will be cursing and cursing God as well. And you and your prophet will hate hate God and hate each other for all eternity. But that does not have to be your, your end. Again, the gospel message is for all. And if you, again, if you repent of your sins and you acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord, call upon the Lord and he will save you. And all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So this, is, this message is not only for my Christian brothers and sisters that we do not have to fear about uh, what is happening in the world uh, with things that are like when you watch the news can be really discouraged but it's all in God's hands it's God who is in control of all things and he's certainly in, in control of Islam this, this man, this poor man will someday bow his uh, bow his knee and confess with his mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of, the, uh, the glory of God the Father. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you are, are watching this on YouTube, it would be really fantastic if you were able to go over and hit the like and subscribe. And uh, leave a note for me. Even on Facebook, leave a note and I'll try to get back to you. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.